Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. It is time for the man who would be Pirate King and Exploration Site. One of the storyline missions this time, I think. I don't want to be caught lying. Uh, the Sanhedrins have asked us to do that. We definitely want to do it because it will allow us to gain further favor from them. We have a semi... Uh, stamina uh, ish uh, force and from an equipment I think we would need more we would need more med kits oh it, it feels that we're always running out of them there we go so med kit for you little green uh, and just some extra ammunition very good has the carrying capacity might as well use it oh yeah he has bonus carry weight that explains it and render Sanders is definitely well equipped the golem armor I don't know if I like that Do we have something else that's 20 that's 34 Well, that here would increase speed and is still reasonably tanky. Would be good to find that middle ground, 30-ish armor. At the moment, we're waiting for the second class to, to kick in. We could also give him assault rifles, which isn't the worst idea, all things considered. I don't want to make any last minute adjustments. This here is helpful from an armor perspective, but it also slows us down quite a bit. Good, Tyler Trigger Finger is well equipped. Natalia, well equipped. Hexer, well equipped. If anything, if we have a If we would have a laser pistol, that would be a small upgrade, but we're fine with the Phoenix pistol. That's all good. Good, we got uh, the semi-body ar armor here. That's a good one. I like it. And we could get the brawler improvement, which definitely will help us going forward. So we're quick and I think the only aspect that's missing is a little bit more healing. Ain does have the spider, um, the spider drones. That is helpful. We still don't have the right armor here. Now we're good. Well, Kitsu has a little bit too is a little bit too light on on the mat kit front. Can't upgrade her strength either. Yeah, this group is almost ready to level, but not quite there yet. Anyways, we're deploying. Good, we landed, and it looks like we're actually in for what. Oh, cool. We're infiltrating a base. A base full of bandits. Well, that should be a fun mission. One that we haven't done. <laughs> Frenzying everyone. And these guys would be perfect for a long range uh, explosion they are so clustered up Close. good where's little green there we go 
Yeah, it's too far. Can't even launch that. The bandits are getting ready. Well, guess what? So are we. Oh, cool. We can already fear the first one. Unfortunately, we can't kill them outright. Do they have snipers? They must have snipers. But it's still a long shot, so... Natalia. So close. Did we hit someone in between? Okay, so apparently someone is standing right in front of them. Hostile still active. Andrew Sanders moves up. Getting our melee characters up and running. Jim moves up. That's a bit the disadvantage of uh, having melee characters in such a situation. Oh wow. That's a long shot. Here we go. Tyler. Identifying target. According to his own records, tries to identify the target, but very much fails to do that. Can't wait. Let's do this. Jim moves up. I think we just killed someone. Moving up and putting our turret down I next round. And we just found out they do have snipers. Reporting enemy contact. Proceeding. Yeah, they do have snipers. All right, let's end the turn and see how good these snipers are. Unless they do have really accurate weapons. Should be a problem. Holy moly, two, four, six, eight, ten, one guy down, eleven, one guy in front, twelve. That's a lot of enemies. I can see them. I don't know why exactly we're seeing them, but they seem to have problems seeing us at the moment. Eh, maybe not so much, maybe I'm wrong. Action. So imagine if you had uh, a really large explosive is what I was about to say. Even further down here. That would be awesome. Anyways. Anyways. 
Ain got a uh, hit. Ish. But uh, he just does not care. Instead, Here's we're deploying a, a turret. Thank you. And we're doing remote control. Turret is ready. <laughs> Next turn on wards. This is not going to be fun for you guys. You're going to be in a world of pain. Ready. But maybe equally so we are uh, so are we. I don't know. Eyes peeled. Jim killed one. Um, yeah, we there. need to deal with their snipers as soon as possible. Action. Uh, <laughs> Natalia uses quick aim again. Unfortunately, hits the weapon. That was the only thing that she could not hit. Ah! Or should not hit. Well, no sniper impact this uh, this time. Hostile wounded. We did hit, hit the sniper. Great. Holding position. Natalia overwatches. A couple of berserkers there. I'm wondering. Okay, we can hit them. That's good to know. Little green moves up. Moves up further. like to get even further into their back line. Need to be careful not to move too far. This is okay for now. Just, just was uh, hitting the ceiling. Yeah, I don't want to be shot at. So, for now, we're waiting with Ender Sanders. moves over here <laughs> removing his actions and moving back okay cool Now, Ain could induce panic to literally everyone here, and I think we're choosing the sniper.
then begins to move out of line of sight and then throws a nice little spider drone into the mix. Ah! My breath. <coughs> Damn it. That was a good hit. Okay, that's an action wasted. They could have spent it differently. They're just trying to heal up, but that's okay. Another sniper, okay. Well, we gotta get these guys down. My turn. And that's how you do it. Luckily, they are now using all of their explosives. Here we go. You're gonna get it. Unfortunate for us, it. Yeah. Just, um. Still deals damage. Ah! Okay, let's start here. Oh! Remote control. Okay, I tell you what, we're actually doing a reverse healing here. And removes a bit further away. Kitsu is fine and I really just want to remote control the turret because Third is do, uh, dealing such a high amount of damage. It has just killed two of uh, them and injured the rest heavily. Spiders. And we could scare any of these guys. I'll wait with the Standing with a panic. We'll come to that in a bit. Attempting to reposition. Okay. That's a very solid shot. Um, yeah, I think we can use again our sniper here not exactly what I was hoping to achieve with it but at least we can overwatch with our overwatch. assault rifle Let's do this. Lining up a shot. <laughs> bad luck. That was indeed bad luck. Can't wait. 
Okay, well. This guy's already panicked. Which means really what we want to do is hit the sniper. And then moving into cover. Move all the way over here. Not sure if we would be safe. But we might be. So we're moving up. Moving over here. Hitting the highest amount of enemies with our war scream and then we're out of line of sight. So with the exception of this guy, not sure if he can even hit us. We should be okay. Little green moves up. Going as close as possible. This would be a pipe dream, but it's not happening. This is more realistic. Nah, we just hit the surface. It's unfortunately not happening. Nice, that disabled arm is helpful. I need a moment. That again helps us because we don't need to, need to deal with them. Okay, that guy's absolutely dead. This here is a problem. Let's start with the solutions back here. Attempting to acquire target. Okay, didn't work out. That's fine. I think we I mustn't removed blink. the sniper rifle from five one of them. Five. Taking aim. Uh, we got enough willpower to We would have enough willpower, but unfortunately we don't have the ability to reduce our shot. Hmm. Dash, reload, overwatch. Need to try Doesn't again. help us again. Holding position. Mm -hmm. 
everybody's fed up. Does not have a weapon. This guy, however, still does. Continue to remote control. The turret is doing a lot of damage. It's in an exposed but yet positive position. And they are. The turrets are well designed. They do more damage than you normally would. However, they can't overwatch. And you need to place them. So all of that definitely makes a lot of uh, sense. It's good. I like it. This guy can't do anything. I'm just thinking out loud. Could step up. And then move back. That's a solid kill. Yeah, we're just hiding behind. And I wonder, uh, he can still shoot, but is heavily injured. We're moving up. That's a bit of a problem. War crying. Moving back. Okay. Yeah, we're rather staying over here. That's okay. We're good. Got this. Good. Jim overwatches. They're not getting past me. And there we go. That hurt, didn't it? Well, we can still shoot, although we have a disabled arm. I want you. Flamethrower. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. That's nasty. Well. We need to wait until all of this dies down. Hmm. What's the plan? We start to slowly re regenerate. That was the last sniper, right? Yes. Cool, he has a flamethrower. That's actually nice. Thank you. 
Okay, I think we've broken the torso. Um, can't break it more, but we can deal some damage if we hit, that is. Optimal to use pistols in order to go about this, but yeah, we're getting there. Moves up. Okay, cool. Little green. Next up, war cries, which is his prime duty. Yeah, and then we're moving out of line of sight. We will grenade them next turn. I'll use this turn to recover. there we need better line of sight okay overwatching so Jim Haxor can't really see anyone here comes the Phoenix I'm on Overwatch. I don't need to heal anyone either. So really the only thing that we need to do is Overwatch for now. These must all be Renegades because... There are a couple of Anu here, a new Jericho guy. I mean, it's an interesting combination. Explosives on delivery. Huh? Natalia moves up. Got lucky. And hits that guy. Good, very good. So, next up. Moving over here. Don't want to go uh, in there. Nope, nope, nope. And nope again. We are overwatching though. Andrew heals himself and takes another med kit. All set.
for overwatching. Shot. Oh. Shot. Yeah, we're not really good at like shooting in into oh. mid range. But it's okay. He's panicked anyways. Overwatching one more time. Move up. Deploy the spider, which should be unaffected. And frenzy everyone. Who isn't frenzied yet? And that's the end of the turn. Do this. Oh, nice, very nice hit. No, oh, we missed. Unfortunate. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Good. So. First, it's just blasting them away. <laughs> Removal of will points. And yet another miss. Hmm. Let's show them what we can do. Good. They are berserkers, so they don't have a great um, reach in what they're five doing. Five. Overwatching. Okay, we on the other hand are moving up. Five by five. Deploying a lot of overwatch. I can do this. Attempting overwatch. One, two, three, four. End of turn. Okay, cool. The green moves a little bit further back. Remote controlling. You know what? 
I am wondering these crates really should go away if I shoot at them. And partially that is true. But partially, they also seem to be really, really, really sturdy. Here comes the Phoenix. That is free. Might as well get the rest of him. Okay, I think we're almost through. Let's go then. One last enemy, potentially up here. Really like the idea, by the way, of rushing into this place. Jim moves up. Still not seeing any enemies. Oh wait, over here. Okay. Well, in that case, let's move in. I'm here. Retrieve turret. That actually was a Do phenomenal turret. Really, really good. Lots and lots of damage. Good, Overwatch. Jim. Overwatches. I've gotta be quick. Natalia Overwatches. We're soon going to haste, uh, speed up everyone. Jim overwatches. They're not getting past me. The green heals himself. I think the healing up uh, that is something we should do. So I believe that this team here might need to do another mission afterwards. Dash 
Refreshing to the coordinates. Okay, end of turn. And I think what we need now is to recover. Give me a sec. End of turn. And next turn we're moving in. Besides those who are not recovering. Heading out. Okay, let's Are deploying turrets. Okay, cool. End of turn. What is that? Moves up. Armor break. I see removes armor. Um, Jim moves up. Got enough willpower for one armor break and one shout. Just a ah! Good. Moving out. Tyler moves up. This didn't even require the in and out, the in and out. Cool. These guys get way more experience per mission than inappropriate Murphy, who I think only got 15 experience. Yeah, maybe it is because uh, the team of in inappropriate Murphy is all level seven. So, but then it uh, then it sort of defeats the purpose. What if you're losing someone on that prime team? So something has survived of the Firebird initiative after all. Stas and Nikolai will be pleased to hear that they founded the initiative. You know, back in the days when our disagreements went tearing us apart. Strange to think of two people who love each other so much being on opposite sides. But there I go, involving you in Synedrion drama again. Okay, so... Now, look, anything you share with us will be shared with everyone. But there's tremendous symbolism to who you share it with first. Our whole internal discourse is increasingly being defined by the polyphonic tendency. Yeah, shared with both. A sensible solution. I wouldn't know how to choose either. Both sides are equally convincing and equal. Good. Well, we're running low on, ammuni uh, on ammunition there. So, next up. We're not going to start that yet. There is a second. Research complete. And there is a second um, plane incoming, Manticore 3. In terms of manufacturing. Okay, finally, this went down quite drastically. We had like three and a half days and now this is one day together, 787, it almost went down to two days, two, two and a bit. Really good. Pleased with that result.
And we also found antediluvian ruins here. Not that that will matter because the second team is not in any shape to actually fight them. Ain got a level up and I think the series has health full ability. So let's fill up their ammunition, which hasn't happened because we were running out of uh, out of money. Stamina is still looking okay for them. Not phenomenal, but okay. So maybe we will just push on. In terms of diplomacy, these guys here um, can now rise above 50% and I think we will need to be above 50% to get the next diplomatic mission. Moving over there, we're now going to actually do the Pandoran Lair next with team number three, which is going to be highly, highly entertaining. Uh, they are not yet ready uh, to do those on a regular, but we must do it. And on the other hand, uh, we want to defend here. Haven Info. Yeah, we're still getting... Uh, we're, we will get that under control. We're still getting there in time. Lots of missions down here. Lots and lots and lots of missions. And in terms of bases, uh, we got South America going. Which means this year, once, we are okay with the uh, living quarters would at least give us a stamina relief so that's in 21 hours we can get those by here and then up there that's not too bad in terms of tier 2 yeah they still need more experience some of them are nearing level 7 which is good but the majority is not yet um, what did we want to do with them? So let's take a look at uh, the team. We got a sniper assault, heavy assault, uh, sniper assault, heavy sniper, and Natalia. Could be another heavy sniper. To be honest, like that's our back line, very good, which means here we need front line, and front line typically includes uh, being able to melee attack. So second class, therefore, would be Berserker. Good, next up we're going to go for Ignore Pain and armor break because both of them are good. With our berserker, this here will be the second heavy berserker. So that's then the front line. This is the back line. Here we got another heavy ber berserker. So it's almost like more carbon, uh, carbon copies of one another. I am wondering whether berserker plus Assault might not be a bad uh, option, but since we do have assault rifles, it's actually we can actually do uh, Berserker plus heavy. There is another option to psionically activate him but Kitsu has the right setup we could work with her 
and make her a priest plus a technician. Ein does not have the right body for the technician arms, so uh, he's likely going to be assault as a second class or or infiltrator. I actually like that combination. Let's try infiltrator second because uh, he can then summon decoys. He has a lot of willpower. It's not too bad. Okay, so in uh, infiltrator with him, which means here with uh, Ender Senders, we could uh, be technician or berserker plus yeah, make him berserk and assault. Uh, then really what we can do is be fast and uh, kill and get those resets going. I think that's not a bad idea. Also, it allows us, we can always get the assault rifle proficiency on top of it and get that accuracy bonus and 20 accuracy with a weapon for 25 points is not too bad. It's actually okay. Uh, the assault class also has return fire. So yeah, I think we're going into that direction. So second uh, team is coming online nicely. I like that. And next up, really what we want to do is prime team, uh, no, third team actually, uh, going into that hive. We do not have a lot of, we do not have a lot of um, sedation. Let me just double check something. Um, our prime team. Does these uh, do these legs look cooler? They sort of look equally cool. So that's Helios six, Helios. I'm just thinking, is this year better for him? Potentially not. The technician armor actually has more uh, defense. So Anyone here in the need of a few legs? Yeah, that's what I thought. Good, much better. Okay, fantastic. So that's the end of today's episode. If you are looking forward uh, for a rush on this Pandorian layer and want to disturb the Pandorians, the best way to do that is to click the like button as that is highly, highly disturbing uh, for them. It'll give them a debuff, I promise you. Take care and see you in today's. Bye-bye.